God loves you. <laughs> this is something that you'll hear Christians repeat over and over again. Many of the more well-meaning ones will say it more frequently, generally. But there's a real issue with this. In fact, there are several from several different angles. I've made a rather significant video prior to this that I'll be releasing addressing just the logical or I should say illogical notion of a God loving you so very much yet still being completely willing to burn you in eternal hellfire forever just for pissing him off or not being sorry enough for angering him even if you did something that did not hurt another human being yet somehow him roasting you forever just for being homosexual or just for fornicating with someone consensually, somehow, somehow him roasting you for those things still makes him loving. <laughs> Forgive the gigantinormous run-on sentence there. Uh, what a cluster of grammatical insanity that was. But this is not an English exam, rather a rant, so I'm sure you understand. However, in this video, I want to cover this from a different perspective. Namely, why did God create us and what does that really have to do with his supposed love for us? If you asked most people who identify as Christians why God created us, they would most likely tell you because he loved us, because he wanted to share his love with us, things of that nature. However, the problem is that none of that is biblically substantiated. Fortunately, though, I once again rediscovered the specific Bible passage where it mentions this. So are you ready for why God supposedly created us? Why don't you see how loving he is after you all read this? Here in Isaiah 43, 7, it is stated, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Created for my glory. So God is saying that he created humans to be loved to share himself with them? No, 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 but rather to glorify himself. So it's true. Wow. God only created humans or God primarily created humans to glorify himself. Yet he loves us. <laughs> How intellectually deficient does one have to be to not see the contradiction here? <laughs> No wonder he, he treats humans as such pawns of his. No wonder it is said in Isaiah 64, 6 that even our best deeds are filthy rags in the eyes of the Father God because he's an asshole who doesn't care how we treat each other. He only cares that we submit to him. And then how we treat each other is just another condition tacked onto that. So... It's very obvious here that God is an egomaniacal asshole who doesn't care about you. He only made you to glorify himself. I mean, what could you not understand about that? It's right here. And I'll, I'll torture both of us or all of us, whoever's watching, temporarily by giving you the full context of this, just so no Christian can ever say that I took this out of context or it was a piece of something else and that God wasn't talking about people. So let me begin. All right, I'm going to read to you here Isaiah 43, 1 through 8, just so you can make sure that I'm not taking this out of context. Forgive me if I do it a bit quickly. But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead, since you are precious and honored in my sight and because I love you. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Lo siento, pero un momento. <laughs> because I love you. So he just, he goes on to admit that he only made you for his own ego, but he loves you. <laughs> 
and he loves you so much, which is why in Matthew 25, 46, he clearly is willing to have you eternally punished for not being righteous since you didn't bow down to his almighty ego. (laughs) But he loves you. (laughs) All right, to finish this off. And because I love you, I will give men in exchange for you and people in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made, lead out those who have eyes but are blind, who have ears but are deaf. So remember this. There, whom I created for my glory. There it is. Can't deny it, Christians. I'm sorry your God is an asshole. I'm sorry he doesn't really care about you. And I'm sorry that he only made you for his own egomaniacal sense of self. Bye.